Okay, so the first card that's fallen is about conquest and facing a lot of difficulties um, and uh, dealing with the situation. And you can see you've been very victorious. So after a long battle, being quite victorious in a particular situation, there may have been a lot of drama in that. And, you know, um, maybe it's been your words that have helped you win this battle. So you have been victorious in this particular uh, battle that you've been facing. Or if you haven't, you will be. So uh, you've got here this... Um, card about putting your energies into trying to find your balance again so there might have been some kind of legal situation that you're dealing with over here uh with this venus in um, um libra um and uh there might have been um, you might have been waiting for some kind of outcome and it looks like the decision was made and now you're moving away uh, it helped you move away from a particular situation so there might have been some kind of legal case you have been victorious in it and it's allowed you to move away and you've taken uh you know uh, a lot of learning from it so you have said what you have you needed to say um you know and it looks like um you know you won um, maybe you had to defend yourself in that particular case and you have won that situation. So you are victorious. Now you're taking the plunge and you're doing something else. So this is taking that leap of faith and doing something else. So you're still very tied up with your work. You might be doing some trouble um, as far as work goes. You've got Saturn in um, Capricorn over here. So this is focusing on work. And this is also getting the bigger picture. So a lot of communication uh, with Mars in um Aquarius, uh, you know, you might be feeling a little bit restricted as far as your power goes because, you know, um, sat, um, Aquarius is partially ruled by Saturn. But since Saturn is your sign, uh, you know, you you can focus uh, with with this um, uh, Mars energy. It helps you focus your energy on communication or, or um, it helps you focus the Aquarian energy, actually. So uh, whatever you're doing, you are taking that plunge. Um, you know, uh, you might have to work pretty hard for it. Uh, uh, for that particular job, but it looks like you are very, very focused and you're very determined to move away from an old situation. So in the past, you might have been dealing with somebody who was very, very restricting, very negative, uh, and that really affected your self-confidence over here. So, you know, you felt uh, as though they were very, very limiting. Um, you have been spending a lot of time with family and looking after, so your focus has been really uh, caring for your family and looking after that. And that's where you've been putting all your energies, maybe all your work, everything that you've been doing has been about that family that you have. So going into the future, you've got um, this card about, you know, um, beware of being taken advantage of in a particular situation. It looks like, you know, you might be working pretty, pretty hard um, uh, in whatever you're doing for your, you know, personal, personal finances. Uh, make sure that you find that balance between work and, uh, you know, um, and your personal life as well. So that's very important. And uh, whatever you've been doing, it, uh, you know, your work is going to be taking um, um, precedence. There's a lot of honors coming. There might be some further study that comes in uh, as far as this work goes. So you might be doing some further training as well. So you've got Mercury here in Virgo. This is talk talking about focusing on studying or higher learning or education. So you might be considering doing extra courses. Make sure you have find that balance between work and um and your personal life and and don't let people take advantage of, of of you so you know stand up for yourself so you have been victorious in this legal case focus on family and make sure that you know um uh, that you don't let people take advantage of you so those are the energies for that week so i'm going to just um i'm using the cat black tarot and um this is a renaissance deck very beautiful deck. Uh, the pictures are gorgeous and the deck is gilded. Oh, I just love it. Uh, I'm sure you're going to hear me going on about this deck in the other readings as well because it's such a beautiful deck. Okay, so let's see what it's got to say though. Because you've got the Knight of Coins of here, and this is basically your card. It's about taking control of that situation, having to work very, very hard, focusing on the job. You can see he's focusing on that coin. You do have people that guide you and are there to support you. You've got this little dog at the bottom over there. But things seem to be a little bit at a standstill, so, you know, you might be feeling a bit stuck. This Knight is at a standstill over here. Um, the Knight of Coins tends to move very, very slowly. Um, and, uh, you know, he has to prod along and do his work and, you know, you, you will get, uh, reap the rewards of hard work, 
but it is going to take some time. So, you know, just hang in there. So, you know, it's an energy about just focusing on that money and being practical as uh, and waiting for things because the Knight of Coins is the, is a farmer and you, know, you have to wait for cycles and seasons. Yeah, if you plant a seed, it's not going to produce a plant. Tomorrow you have to wait for it. You've got to nurture it, water it, and then reap it, you know, um, cut it down and process it. And so it's a long time, you know. So there is, the rewards do come in the end. Uh, but it does take some time to get there. So you are dealing with uh, difficult situations. You've got the uh, strength card over here. So, you know, standing up for yourself, going into your inner knowledge, whatever, or inner, um, inner strength, really, to sort out problems. There might be somebody that needs uh, help from you. So there might be somebody that's requesting your assistance in something as well. But all in all, you're very much in control. You might also be dealing with a Leo person because the strength card rules uh, the sign of Leo as well. So maybe some news coming in from this person. You've got the, uh, the uh, bird on this person's back over here. So it looks like you might be dealing with a Leo person. Maybe they need your help in something and you get a message from them, um, you know, requesting help from you. Whatever situation you're dealing with, with this line, uh, you know, uh, representing problems, you will be able to conquer it by just sheer determination and also just uh, by being very um, diplomatic about the whole situation. You've got the King of Coins over here. So this person that you could be dealing with, I usually read the King of Coins as being uh, another Capricorn person that you're dealing with. So this could be another fellow Capricorn person that you're dealing with that requires help. This could be you, uh, you know, being on top of things and getting your finances sorted out. And because this person is focused on the money, uh, getting to a higher position or being in a in a leadership position. Now, this could be somebody that is also, you know, somebody that you're dealing with. It could be another Earth sign person. Um, it could be Capricorn, um, Taurus or Virgo, but mostly it, it, it tends to lean towards the Capricorn in my readings. Uh, so maybe you're dealing with another Capricorn person. Um, if this is not the person that you're dealing with, this could be you uh, achieving. You can see a stability with this castle in the back uh, and maybe managing your finances. Maybe um, the post or the job that you're doing now is going to be something that uh, um, you get a promotion in. Uh, so that it gets you right up to the top and that you're earning pretty well. So this could also be dealing with a business person, somebody who is uh, in control of finance or money. Uh, you know, uh, it, it, it can signify bankers. So if you're having some kind of financial difficulty, you might need, be, you know, need to speak to a bank or need to, to get out a loan, and this is the person that you will be uh, dealing with. But whatever the situation is, you are victorious in it because the strength card always talks about getting control of the situation. So if, it, if you're going in for a loan or going in for some kind of financial assistance, you will be getting it uh, or that person will be very favorable towards giving it to you. Okay, so you've got the temperance card and this is what you've been doing in the last year. This is, you know, getting advice, uh, getting yourself balanced. You can see her pouring things from one cup to the other. You know, getting your, your life blended, balanced out, uh, using lessons that you learned from the past, applying to whatever you're doing now, uh, taking that kind of middle road, being very diplomatic, also getting divinely guided as well because you can see this angel above. And that's the angel Gabriel and giving this uh, this other angel uh, advice or uh, um, um, showing them what to do, really. So, you know, you have been um, been very, um, you've been getting some good advice from people and you've been trying to get yourself in balance. If you have uh, any kind of, maybe you've even been getting your health issues or any health problems in order, sorting out your diet or your health, getting yourself really um, back in tip-top condition again. So you've got the page of coins and this is, uh, you know, uh, maybe a job offer had come in for you in the last three months or, or an offer for studying. So it looks like you've got the book over here and, you know, this is about uh, studying to further your career. And this looks like this might have been an offer being made to you in the past few months. So you've got the page of wands. You are now considering some new idea that you have or you, are, you might be considering these two pages are about uh, learning. They're all, this page with the page of wands is also about travel. News coming in from people, uh, you know, invitations, but also new projects that are coming on an international front. So whatever the studying that you're doing in is also starting opening up the doors for you to travel as well. And maybe, you know, learn a lot more as far as, you know, from other people, foreign people. So you might be considering traveling. Um, also, this could be about, you know, maybe you're waiting to receive news from somebody overseas whom you haven't heard from in a long time. But this could also be about news coming in about work as well. So this is international news coming in, um, and this is going to help you along the career path. So you're waiting for some kind of news to come in to get you going as far as your career path uh, goes as well. 
So you've got the Empress card over here going into the future, and this is about abundance and waiting for that abundance to come in. So you are whatever you're doing, whatever projects you're doing, uh, you know, you're very nurturing, you are helping it grow. This is also about looking after family, um, you know, and, you know, there could even be a birth of a child in the family, or you could be having a baby as well. This is a card ruled by Venus, and this is about abundance and growth, and it's also about caring. So, you know, it's about nurturing, looking after children. Maybe you're taking, maybe your job is one of a carer, and this could be uh, signifying that. So the Queen of Swords over here uh, is about you, and you are being, you know, you're a person who has gone through a lot of loss. There's been a lot of transformation. You've got a butterfly over here. You are now very determined to get things done, and nobody's going to deter you from what you want to, to get done. So you are looking to the future. You are making your plans. You are speaking your truth, and you're saying whatever it is. It doesn't really matter who uh, gets upset by it. Um, you are making sure that your message is get, getting across to people nowadays. You're not letting them walk all over you, that's for sure. And you've got the Nine of Cups over here, so this is being satisfied with whatever you're doing. So you are happy. You've got you know people that are around um, that are there to support you. You are very family orientated. Whatever you've started is now going to start producing rewards because after all, this is the Nine of Cups and it is the, the card of satisfaction, the card of being wishes being fulfilled. So um, you know. Whatever you wanted is now coming into your arena right now. And you do have that kind of support. There's a lot of, um, you know, uh, people that you are surrounding yourself with people that are reliable and people that you can trust. People that are dependable. So whatever happened to you in the past was, uh, you know, very deceptive. There was some nastiness that went on there. There was a lot of lies, cheating. Maybe you had to move home as well. Uh, and you don't really want that to happen again because this is in your hopes and fears. And you're really worried that you're going to get uh, into a position where you are, your stability is threatened. So going to the future, you've got the Ace of Swords, the Moon, and the Ten of Wands. So this is winning uh, victories or battles or any kind of dispute that you might have been going through if it's a legal dispute you are going to come out a, a winner so everything goes in your favor as far as legality go legalities go you're also cutting out the past and you're taking a stand for what you believe in so you're not letting letting anybody tell you what to do anymore the moon is talking about a bit of um you know uh, a bit of confusion there might be something that's hidden from you uh you know a things that have not really come to light yet. And it's also worrying too much about things uh, that don't exist. So, you know, uh, the moon talks about shadows becoming monsters. And um, so you need to, uh, you know, um, try not to, um, you know, get too upset about something. You know, if you look at it with clarity, uh, it might appear, you know, uh, that it's not such a big demon. It might not be such a big problem that you're facing. So the moon is about, you know, getting that emotions in order and trying to get over any kind of depression or negative feelings that you're going through. And then you've got the Ten of Wands. Uh, you need to get rid of any kind of burdens and responsibilities that are no longer serving you, um, that are causing blockages. You've got this big wall over here and this person's carrying this big load of... Um, um, uh, rods. So this particular cycle of hard work, labor, you can see he's been carrying these rods, you, you know, is over. And now the abundance is there and it is waiting for you. So whatever you've been working at on so hard will now start giving you rewards. And that cycle of drudgery and uh, responsibilities and burdens and, you know, difficulties is over. So the Ten of Wands is the end of that particular cycle. So all in all, you know, you are getting over whatever difficult situation. You're coming out, you're staking, taking a stand for yourself, and you need to drop some burdens and responsibilities uh, and, uh, you know, be a bit more positive because you are going to be winning in this situation. You've got the Nine of Cups over here, which says that things are starting to look up and you are starting to get uh, into a phase where you are becoming this King of Cups, which is, you know, reaching that phase of ab abundance and stability and growth. And you're on top. If you're, if this is about your job, you're definitely in a, in a very high leadership position. Um, and you have got great strength of character. It's still going to take a lot of hard work with this Knight of um, Cups, uh, Knight of Coins, but, it, you know, it will pay off in the end. Whatever you're doing is going to bring you abundance, especially with this Empress card. So I'm just going to draw some cards from the, excuse me, from the, uh, that fell out, flew out. Um, from the angel uh, tarot just for oracle read and the seven of water says a complex decision a need to do research stop procrastinating so with the seven of water it's seven of cups a lot of options available for you research before you make any kind of decisions uh, that you know is going to bring big change to you so make sure that you're looking thinking very clearly before you make any kind of leaps and then the second one is the four of earth, which is a very stable number. And, you know, earth is a very stable sign. Being too frivolous or too cautious with money, 
good business decisions giving to those less fortunate so you know you are reaching a stability uh, with your money you can see in the back over here there's you know castles so you know you are getting that abundance and you will be able to accumulate money for savings and you know you will this is a card of you know establishing your establishing um, good foundations. So you know you are reaching that stability, which is uh, what all Earth sign people try to head for in the end. So and with that stability should come in some happiness as well. And you've got the Knight of Air. Events that occur at great speed take time to carefully review your options, creative solutions. So the Knight of Air is talking about some kind of official news coming in or some kind of official decision uh, that comes to light. Um, you know, it could be some something legal uh, or something very, um, well, official news that comes in for you. And also, this is talking about things moving pretty quickly. So you might have to make some uh, quick decisions. Uh, make sure that you are thinking clearly with the um, uh, Knight of Swords carrying the, this Ace of Swords. That means, you know, you have to use your intelligence uh, and you have to be extremely unemotional about any kind of decision that you make. And make sure you are speaking your truth uh, and saying whatever you mean. And you are doing that with the Queen of Swords. So both these cards are wielding uh, the, the sword of truth. And it's also talking about being in control and having your power in your hand. So something coming in pretty quickly as far as news goes, or maybe a situation will change pretty quickly. Uh, but you have to be uh, on your toes for that. So... Uh, you know, no time to slouch. And also this decision that needs to be made, uh, make sure that you're you're doing research. Uh, and it will give you that four of earth, which is stability. So I hope that this reading has resonated with you. Please don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Leave me some comments if it has. Thank you so much for watching. Take care now. Goodbye.